Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. Today we are playing Tracks, the train set game. It's a very, very easy completion, should take you less than half an hour, and it's available on Xbox Game Pass. Moving straight to the first achievement, when you first start up the game, you're going to get straight into the tutorial, and all you have to do is pass the tutorial to get your first 100 gamer score. Uh, to do that, just uh, you can obviously read along, and I do recommend you read through the tutorial to learn how to play uh, the game. I myself didn't and had a bit of trouble <laughs> learning the controls afterwards, but anyway, uh, you can just use the D-pad and the A button to scroll through the tutorial really, really fast. Um, you can see me doing it on screen right now. And when we get to the end, we'll grab that first achievement. There are 10 achievements in the game, guys. And I wouldn't say any of them are hard by any means at all. And like I said, you're going to get through this game within about half an hour. There's the first achievement for finishing the tutorial. Let's move right along to the second achievement. Spruce up the room. Place 20 decorations from the spawn menu. They have to be uh, unique, different decorations. Now you can go into any level. Push the RB button and it'll bring you to this menu here. Select any item and just place it down on the map with the A button. Uh, you'll see here, I think I stuffed up now. What, the footage that you're seeing here is just my first go playing the game. I had already read the achievements list and I was like, oh, let's see how you place items. Um, and it was literally the after the first 20 items that I placed, the achievement popped and you'll see that happen in a, just a minute here. I was still just mucking around with the game, working out what works, what... Uh, where things go and I thought all right let's just see how many items I can place down here um, and see if we can grab that achievement and then I thought you know what maybe I'll make a video of it I went to start it again um, I'm always recording when I do these practices and things like that uh, I went to start it again and I put down the first couple of items and there we go the achievement pops for us so there we go another 50 gamer score And let's move along to the next achievement, Transcontinental Railway. And all you have to do is visit every environment. Go down to Level Select. Let's just go back to the first level to make sure that we've selected that one. Now you don't have to go into the level, you don't have to do anything or interact with any of the levels. Just go straight back to Level Select, select the second one, and then rinse and repeat. Uh, there are, at the stage of this recording, there are only six levels, but I have heard that there are more levels to come. But even if there were more le levels, this is not a difficult process at all, guys. All right, and once we get up to the sixth, which, uh, what do we got, a couple more? Yeah, like I said, as you can see here in the video, we don't need to go into the level itself. You just click level select, click on the location, and then repeat, guys, and there's the achievement. All right, moving along, what are we up to? Achievement number four already off the rails. Ride a train off the edge of the world. You could do this on just about any level, I do believe. Here I am in the bedroom level, just the normal bedroom level. Uh, once you get into the level, push the back button. Uh, it'll give you control of the train and then just push forward on the left stick and take your train all the way past the uh, edge of the map and once you get there, the train will uh, respawn for you and you'll grab that achievement. There it is. Now we're gonna stay in the bedroom level here as we move on to achievement number five. Maple goodness. Ride the train around the pancakes. And for the first time, we're actually going to be building a, a track for once. So here you can see I'm just going across and making sure we're in the bedroom level and I want to put it back to the start so that I can show you exactly how to do this achievement from the start. Now, you can build a track all the way up to the table, but there's a shortcut, guys. And of course, I'm going to show you that. What you want to do is hold the back button. You just saw it pop up on screen there and select starting point. That allows us to put a new starting point down. I'm going to go up on the table here, which is uh, you'll see in a second, this is where the pancakes are. I'm going to place the starting point down there with the arrow facing the pancakes going to hold the back button and press reset. That will now reset the train at our new starting location. 
Now I'm gonna go uh, by pressing RB, I'm gonna go choose some track. I'm gonna put one down right where the train is. See me uh, trying to work out the controls here, how to put another piece, but there we go. And now all we wanna do is loop around the pancakes. Um, because of their, their being limited room, you're gonna be right in tight around these pancakes and then make sure the track joins up again uh, to form a bit of a loop. Now all you need to do is press the back button or tap the back button, get, the, uh, get control of the train, press forward to move and around the pancakes we go. And as simple as that guys, there's the achievement. No need to build a track all the way up to the table. Okay, let's move on to the next achievement. This one is I Choo Choo Choose You, very uh, original name, hey. Uh, pull the steam uh, whistle as you're going around the Christmas tree, basically. I think it says something about the presents. Uh, anyway, we need to go to the bedroom at night, so make sure you select that level. And here you go, as soon as you're in control, we're just gonna build the track around the Christmas tree. Now, I've tested this out. You don't need to be in really, really close to the Christmas tree. You just need to go around the back here of the Christmas tree near these presents. Uh, you don't have much room in this back corner of it anyway. So just uh, maneuver the camera and build the track around. You can loop it around here. And you can see there, we're not really hugging the Christmas tree on this side. Have a good look there. Uh, but as long as it loops back around, guys, now what you wanna do is push the back button or tap the back button again. Start moving the train forward and then look to your left so that you can see the whistle here. When you can see the whistle, pushing the A button will blow the steam whistle. And as long as you blow it, somewhere around the back of the Christmas tree, you're gonna grab that achievement just like that, guys. Okay, moving on to the next achievement. Save a file containing 100 pieces of track. You could do this just through normal gameplay if you were mucking around and wanted to build a big track and then save it. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way. We're gonna to go to the clear level. And I decided just so that I knew how many pieces, I'm gonna build 25 pieces in one direction. I'm gonna make a right turn and build 25 pieces and form a square just like that. 25 by 25 by 25 by 25 and it should uh, end up back on itself. Now I will speed up the video a bit just in a second. So there's 25 pieces, then I put a corner. So we're gonna end up with just over 100 pieces um, by doing this. I'll speed up the video here. We don't need to see me place each of the 100 or so pieces. But yeah, I'm just gonna form a, a square. You really could do this absolutely any way you wanted to. I just wanted to uh, quickly map it out in a way that I could see um, and get my head around it. Then what you wanna do is go into the menu, select save and load, go to new save. Um, you don't really have to choose anything here. I, I do believe it was asking me to put in a name. So just pop absolutely anything you want in there. And as soon as you press save, Bob's your uncle, there's the achievement. Okay, three achievements to go guys. And these are all achieved in what the game calls passenger mode. And what we need to do is we need to complete the first objective in passenger mode. We need to deliver our first lot of passengers uh, and we also need to complete all objectives in passenger mode. The first of two levels uh, that have passenger mode are modern apartment. So make sure you select modern apartment and make sure you select passenger mode at the top of the screen there. And once you've done that, you can push play. It'll run you through a tiny little tutorial here about uh, what passenger mode is. Basically what it means is we've got to go around and pick up the passengers and then take them to the station to drop them off. There's the station. Now obviously the normal way to play this game would be to build your track from start wrapping around past the uh, passengers and back to the station but we are going to cheat the system here. Head over, find the passengers and they can be, I believe the first lot of passengers are always going to be in this position uh, but the passengers can be anywhere. Press RB and select a platform and just pop it down anywhere near the passengers. Just make sure the stairs and that aren't hanging over the edge. Once you've done that what we're going to do is hold the back button and select starting point. We're going to pop the starting point down next to the platform. We're gonna reset the train into position. We don't even need any track and the passengers will now hop on the train. You could do this for wherever that the passengers happen to be, but I do believe they'll always be there for your first go. Okay, and now we're gonna find the station, which I do believe is always here 
for the first go once again. We're gonna put a new starting point down at the station. We're gonna reset the train. And there we go, guys. It's as simple as that to pick up our next two achievements uh, for passenger mode. And there's only one achievement to go for the game, guys. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play through the remainder of this level uh, there's going to be a few little changes here and there, and I'll go through them. Uh, but it can be a little bit random, so your passengers might be in different positions to where mine are. And I'm not going to show all of them. Uh, very unnecessary. But just find your next set of passengers, get the platform, and just rinse and repeat our last couple of steps. Play through until you get the business passengers. The differences here are that there is one, there is a time limit, and two, the business passengers want to be taken to a bigger and better station. Once again, find them, grab your platform, get your starting point, reset the train to your new starting point. Here we go. And luckily all these business passengers are in the one location. Get them all on board. Find the new improved station, probably in a separate location to the other one. Once again, move the starting point again. We're really, really cheating the system here, guys. Just pop it in between uh, these two platforms here. Reset the train, and that's it. That's how you do the business uh, passengers, guys. Continue through the level, and eventually you may come across some climbers. The game wants you to pick up some climbers. They're usually gonna be up fairly high, but the uh, process remains somewhat the same until at least we have picked them up. Once we've picked up these climbers, the game is then going to want us to perform five jumps in the train before we drop the passengers off. So as soon as they're on the train, all you need to do is then tap the back button to take control of the train and just drive forward off the edge. As soon as you get air by driving off the edge, it's gonna count as a jump. What you can then do is reset the train back at the platform. So you can do that uh, one of two ways that I know of, you can do it the way we've already been doing it. Tap the back button, select reset, and there we go. The passengers are fine, they're back in the train, and we're gonna drive off the edge again. Now, I found this out accidentally. You can actually just double tap and hold the back button. So tap it once, and then the second tap, hold the back button, and it will automatically reset the train back at the starting point. You see there, very, very quick. As Soon as you're in the air, it ticks over to the next jump. You'll see here, almost didn't even get off the edge. Reset the train, rinse and repeat until you've done all five jumps, guys. And once you've done that, all you need to do then is reset the train, get a new starting point back at the station and drop off the passengers. Very, very simple, guys. Okay, what happens if you come across a table here where the platform really doesn't fit? Well. I've got a solution for that, guys. What you wanna do is just have one set of stairs on the table firmly. The rest of the platform can hang off the edge, as you can see here. You also want enough of the platform there that we can fit at least one of the carriages of the train at the back um, so that the passengers can hop on the train, as you can see right here. And the train didn't go all the way off the edge. Drop them off at the station. Uh, eventually you're gonna get up to these firefighters that you drop off at the station. You'll get this note on the screen and that means you have finished the first level of passenger mode. Once you grab that note, you can keep playing here in this level, uh, but we don't need to for achievements. We're gonna go to level select. We're gonna select the second passenger mode level, which you'll find as just the normal bedroom level. So click on that. Make sure you click on passenger mode at the top of the screen. I'll find it eventually, there we go. And I'll go through a couple of differences in this level. You will find that this level is a lot more elevated. Um, there's a lot more sort of changes in elevation. Um, but the thing that I found tricky in this one is this area here. Very, very similar to that small table in the last level though. Make sure that the passengers can get on the platform, having the stairs just sort of on the edge there, but still on the platform. And what I do here is I build a little track um, out, as long as it starts on firm ground, you can just uh, pop a piece down there, choose which way you wanna go, pop another piece down, and again, you probably don't need this last piece that I put down, 
And now we just rinse and repeat all the steps we've already been doing. We pop the starting point down and reset the train. And you'll see here, it just sits onto the tracks and the passengers get on board and we can take them back to the station, guys. And that's it. Just keep picking up the passengers just like that. Um, come up with ways to pick them up if they're on tricky little areas like you saw with that shelf on that last one. There's the final achievement, guys. Simple as that. We've got a thousand gamer score. Hopefully, if you followed along with this video, it's taken you around half an hour, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more if you had to pause the video here and there. Uh, I hope you found it helpful either way, guys. I really hope you're having fun grabbing that gamer score. I want to thank you all very, very much for watching my videos, guys. Really love all the support. Please drop us a like if you found it helpful. Post a comment, subscribe to the channel. And if you want more guides like this, especially on Game Pass games, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. There's a link in the video description, guys. And there's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.